Let's just um, let's just recap those core three things that make Absolutely. up the core of the game. Scoring with Wumpa and crates, dropping it off at your bank to score. You've got the gem pads, mm -hmm. they're adding the boost to your scoring potential. Yep. And then third st strategic lane of the relic stations, map specific game changers that you can activate uh, by collecting relics that you find yep. around the map. Yep, and all of these you know, are unique in their layout to each of these different maps. And so what we're gonna do next is take a look at a couple of the maps we're talking about today. Um, and we're gonna call out you know, the different strategies, we're gonna call out the different layouts, as well as mentioning some of the relic stations that really make each of these maps feel unique. All right, so first let's look at uh, Just Beachy. Yeah. So we're obviously got a quite a top-down view here. I'll just walk you through what you're looking at. So if you cast your eyes to the bottom of the screen, you'll see the blue team's start point, which is just off to the right. And then their bank is just close to their start point. We have different layouts and structures for all of our maps, which cause different gameplay interactions between the teams. Yeah. And then at the back of the map, you'll see two rows of gem pads, each with four gems. Now these gem pads you know, are hotly contested, as I've said before, but this one in particular, the layout of these have this kind of, you know, increasingly vertical incline to them, as well as being kind of a, a straight line that actually is above the water. And so when you're, you know, getting into a, a, a rumble over these gem pads, what could happen is knocking, you know, your, your enemies into the water, you know, getting them out. And so you're trying to, you know, find a way to use that height advantage yep. to really capture these and get the boost for your team. That's right. And then let's look at what else we see in the map. Of course, we see yep. crates across the map and loose Wumpa and mm -hmm. the relics that you can collect. Yep. And then the relic stations we've already seen, the uh, beach ball, which is on this map. Mm -hmm. The epic we've not talked about yet. The epic is dead center. And on this map, the epic is an extra bank. So if you take the time with your team to collect the relics to, uh, to activate the extra bank, for a period of time, your team will have two locations where they can score, which yeah. puts the enemy seriously on the back foot. Yeah, absolutely. If you're on a team and the enemy team creates the second bank, it's basically dividing your team's focus. And so if you're trying to play defense, it's much harder when the enemy team has the ability to deliver their Wumpa at two different locations. Exactly.